All right, so Ask AJ has been asked by Ashley at the University of Kansas, go Jayhawks, to discuss um, issues for her gay anthropology class. I think that's what it's called. Anthropology of Human Sexuality. Something like that. Fuck, I had it written down on my other notepad. Ashley, you know I'm there for you, girl. We're going to get through this together. We're going to get you an A. <clears throat> anyway, I don't know why I'm like, so hoarse lately. But uh, anyway, so how do I identify? I don't want to put a label on it. I just identify as me. I'm not femme. I'm Butch. I'm AJ. I'm just whatever. So everybody, I don't think that it's a, you have to put a label on it. I mean, why do you have to be like, I'm like this and I fit in this box. I just think it should be like whatever you are is, you know, whatever you want to be. I don't think you'd have to put like a label on it. Whatever you are is what you want to be. Write that down. That was so profound. Anyway, what pronouns do I use or respond to or he, she, him, her, I don't know. All of that's fine. It's just like the group of people that I would be hanging out with knows which pronouns would be appropriate. It's kind of like if you're with a bunch of Italians, you wouldn't start speaking like, you know, well, maybe you would speak Spanish because Spanish is like Italian. Okay, like Japanese. You just know when you're in your element and that's what you would be doing or be speaking. So I hope that's a little clear for you. Uh, how old was I when I noticed I had a gender variance? Oh, very young. I remember being in preschool and telling the teacher that I pee standing up. Uh, I didn't win that argument. And uh, I remember also when you sit in a little circle on the floor, the teacher walks around, you're playing like whatever, the little sticks or what the fuck ever. She'd walk by and I'd like look up her skirt. So at a really young age, I was noticing that I wasn't like all the other little girls. My mom would buy me Barbie dolls. She'd buy me Barbie and Ken. And I would totally throw out the Barbie doll and keep Ken and like the horse. We'd play with that around the house. Oh, and Ewok Village. I fucking loved Ewok Village. Ewok, Star Wars, anything like that? Yes. <clears throat> um, how was my childhood experience? What, how was my, how was it like growing up? I grew up without a father and a lot of people say, oh, she grew up without a father, that must explain it, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, I mean, maybe, but I don't really see how that would relate to me, but I can see why people would say that. Like, you didn't have that father figure, so you don't have that trust in men, but I really don't think that was my problem. I was so involved in sports, can you believe it, sports, that I didn't even, like, I don't think it really even matters today, not having a father then. <clears throat> Did I try to hide who... My sexuality back in the day, yes, oh my god. I even had a boyfriend, can you believe that? Sorry, my kitchen cabinet was open. Yeah, I had a boyfriend, and I used to dress up and wear makeup, but I never went to prom or homecoming because I did not want to have to wear the dress and the makeup and the heels and the blah, blah, blah. no. But I totally tried to hide it and fit in and be like the girly girl. I will show you a picture, wait till the end of the video, and I will put up my fucking senior picture to embarrass the hell out of me and the rest of the world. But yeah, I totally tried to hide it. And finally, at 18, I was like, ugh, I'm so fucking gay. Like, hello world. Nothing changed. I did cut my hair, though, obviously. Um, let's see. Did anything motivate or push me to come out of the closet? I just think that I felt so guilty and hiding and sneaking around all the time, going out on dates and not telling anybody. And, yeah, I just, I think for, like, my own self, I had to come out of the closet just to feel good about who I was and not lie to people, you know, that's not me. So the only thing that motivated me to be who I am today is me, you know. And uh, also, how does society perceive me? Uh, well, they think I'm a guy most of the time when I'm walking around. And you know what really sucks and I fucking hate? There's two things that I hate that you straight people do to gay people like me. The first thing is when we walk by, you say, is that a guy or a girl? Is that a guy or a girl? I can fucking hear you. I have ears, you know. Obviously, I'm not, you know, not paying attention to my surroundings. I can hear you talking to your boyfriend or your boyfriend talking to you or whatever. Don't say that. Who fucking cares if I'm an elephant? Like, shut the fuck up. Ugh. Really gets me angry. Also, what I hate is... When I'm flying or, you know, at a restaurant and somebody comes up to me and they're like, oh, would you like another banana, sir? And I'm like, okay, I'll take a banana. And then they hear my voice, 
they're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry to call you sir, ha ha ha, I'm so embarrassed. It makes me feel even more embarrassed when you sit there and laugh and like apologize a thousand times for mistaking me for a guy. I really don't fucking care. If I wanted you to mistake me for a girl, I dress like a girl. So don't apologize, just let it go. Don't even say you're sorry, just act like it never happened. That would be so much better. Anyway, Ashley, I hope that you get an A on your project. There's about 10 questions of yours I didn't answer because I don't want to make this video too long, but uh, yeah, that's it. So that's the anthropology of AJ. Good night.